Good morning. Welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 71. It is Monday. It is the start of the third week uh, post-pandemic. Well, we're still in a pandemic. We're just able to get back to work now. Um, <clears throat> today, I am expecting to have the representative here from the um, installer who's, who could do uh, the water booster pumps or the uh, they call it a jetmatic system here uh, that's a name brand but nevertheless it's a it's a booster pump uh, that will be that would be installed prior to the water filtration system going into the house um, overnight we did get a very nice heavy rain uh, which was great for all the concrete and the plaster coating that's been going on lately um, today we're going to instruct the uh, the uh, bodeguero, uh, here they call it a bodeguero, it's a warehouse man or the guy that stays on the, on the site and uh, secures it um, after hours during the week or during the work week <clears throat> um, to where he will go through and at the end of the day water the uh, plaster coat that's been done. Um, my experience um, with concrete is that as long as it has hydration, as long as it's got water, it will continue to cure. And plaster coat is primarily just cement, uh, so the cementuous part of the concrete. Uh, so as long as you still got water going into it, it's going to continue curing and get stronger. Um, so I'd like to have this concrete and the, and the plaster coats as strong as possible, uh, just so that we don't end up with a lot of cracking later on. So um, that's something we're going to look at today. Also, this week is going to be primarily driven towards um from what the engineer said on thursday we're going to have the um, attic floor slab um, being poured uh, most likely with a pumper truck uh, so that'll be another interesting shot i think i've only shown you guys that uh, the pumper truck action and once earlier when we were doing the foundation work uh, so they're going to continue that they're going to start on that on thursday i believe other than that um i'm going to do a walk around here in a moment and uh, see where everybody's at. So let's get started. All right, getting started this morning. The uh, welders are on site. Uh, they will be continuing with the uh, fabrication for the web trusses. And Let's see what they're doing here in the back of the house. Uh, we are, looks like they're prepping to do, yes, they are prepping to do um, window cornering. So they'll continue doing the cornering on the windows. <clears throat> Same as they've uh, done on some of the others. Let's look around. Looks like they're getting ready to get started with the uh, making some more mortar as well as let's see what we got up here on top they are putting in location for um, the roof beams looks like they're going to do a roof beam here across the um, top of the garage this is the top of the ins inside top of the garage and between the maid suite so they're going to put another roof beam at that location all right, let's continue around the front. Until we got a good heavy rain, all the, the cinder blocks still got a lot of water marks on it where it got good heavy rain last night. Had a good heavy rain probably for a good hmm, 30 minutes to an hour. Much needed. Funny for being rainy season, we hadn't had rain in almost two, two weeks. <clears throat> Okay, a couple gentlemen up here on the front, my masons and my, my lead steel man, which is funny, he's also a mason, multi-talented. Um, they continue the plaster work. This is on the exterior wall for the office. Miss Emmy keeps threatening me, saying the, uh, the office is gonna be her sewing room. But, okay, these gentlemen are also prepping the, uh, the floor for the office to make sure it's ready to go for concrete uh, later this week when we pour. Let's come in here and take a look. <clears throat> Mr. Talk is here early this morning. Good morning. Uh, he's, <laughs> 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 he's 
he's uh putting in locations where the switches are going to go as soon as we enter into the master suite mr jericho is continuing with uh plaster coating on another wall here in the master bedroom and that's it for the master area so let's do a mid-morning walk around um Mr. Oliver is working on cornering the window in the maid's room. Walk around here to the side. Welders are still working their trusses. Woo, that's loud. Steel men on top doing roof beams. Laborers in the middle making and transporting mortar for the plaster coating. And it looks like they're getting ready to start. Yep, they're starting plaster coating inside of the um, bedroom number two. Take a quick peek in the window. They're getting started here. Let's go walk around to the front. Oh yeah, moving right along. They're doing the plaster coat for bedroom number three. Cruising around. They finished up the plaster coat for the top half of the office. Let's go take a look inside. See where folks are at. A look back here in the master suite all right what's going on back here looks like our switches have been installed doing finishing on the <laughs> doing finishing on the wall for the plaster coat And then the plumbers are back here jacking out the supply lines. And they'll be pushing supply lines in later. All right. All right. Coming into bedroom number three. Mr. Wilson still plaster coating on the inside as well. And then I showed you earlier, ah, Mr. Foreman is uh, getting the bird's eye view. Yes, sir, plastering. And I see the foreman's getting the bird's eye view. Looking from above. <laughs> We had the uh, representative come by from the, the local company uh, regarding the water pressure booster pump and the two storage tanks. Um, their company also does filtration uh, to where it would be of a good enough quality uh, to be able to be considered like mineral water or basically uh, purified water that you would normally get out of a, uh, of a tap or from a bottled water dispenser. So that'll be included in the uh, proposal. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys the entirety of the um, the proposal and the sit down as we were just taking having that discussion. Um, majority of the discussion was in uh, Tagalog, um, so it was primarily between the representative and Miss Emmy, um, and I was doing my best to uh, keep up with how the conversation was going and implement and jump in where I could to make sure. I still understood what was going on. Um, so when I get the proposal a little later this afternoon, the, uh, the gentleman said he should be able to have it to me by 6 p.m. Uh, and that'll be with pictures and descriptions of what the uh, proposal will, will include. Um, I will take those and incorporate them into the video, most likely right after this, this clip, and uh, then talk, talk our way through uh, that discussion 
of what the what the water filtration is supposed to do, what the booster pump is supposed to do, and how it's going to uh, what kind of pressure we're looking at for the end of the line. Basically, is the water is coming out of the other end. All right, so we'll take a look later. This is a similar install done by the same person that came to give us a uh, quotation today. Um, done at another person's house. Starts off with a water tank in the back, which is the short one, uh, from the main water line with no pressure. It goes through a booster pump you see small in the middle and then into a pressurized tank before going through the filtration system into the home. Now this filtration system is kind of small, um, only a two filter system. Well, I was going to show you the proposal from the company that we had on the site visit today. Um, I've waited until late this evening uh, doing the editing uh, to try to incorporate it. However, it still hasn't arrived. Um, so what I'm going to do is when it does come in, I will incorporate it into the next video and do an overview of it from there. But until then, I'll show you what I seen before from this company and what I was expecting from another company as well. Now in the previous picture, the small 20 inch filter, this is the uh, filter that actually comes out of that canister. You see a lot of sedimentation. This is the water that's coming directly out of our uh, water tank system from the subdivision. All right, pictured here is a four tank system from uh, another company that we had talked to in Manila. Uh, it goes from left to right, going from tank number three, which is a uh, oxidizing filter system. Uh, helps treat manganese and iron, gets rid of the, the hard metals. Uh, the next one, number two, is a activated carbon filter to remove all those uh, elements that you just uh, oxidized. Number 1A and 1B are work together as a water softener system. Uh, the first 1A treats the water uh, for water hardness and removes some of the minerals. Uh, number 1B uh, is the brine tank. So it puts it, it runs it through the, the water softener, uh, makes it uh, soft water ready to use in the pipes. All right, we're gonna take a mid afternoon walk around post lunch. Um, you guys are still up on top, putting in the roof beams. This should be the last set of rebar and concrete that will go on the mix or on the, uh, on the walls before they start putting in the actual uh, trusses that these guys over here are making. All right. Um, also, Mr. Oliver here is still working on the um, cornering for the windows. He did the sides uh, this morning. He's working on top and bottom this afternoon. Coming on around. You guys are working here in bedroom number two. Take a peek in the window and see what they're doing. Ah, oh, that's okay. A Bali Kenny. Very hot. You're cooking. <laughs> All right, so they're still doing plaster coat there. As long as they got shorts on, they can take the tops off. It's hot. What about this one? Um, so the engine, the uh, archi the foreman is telling me that they're going to leave this with a rough finish, same as they did over here. That way, when they go to put up the, uh, they're going to put Hardy Flex or uh, cement fiberboard on the outside as their um, as the covering. So it's going to look like uh, the old school Hardy planks that you used to see on the side of the uh, the side of the houses. Um, so that's what it's going to look like, and they're going to leave it rough finish so that they're able to get the adhesive to match easily. Um, just looking through the window, looks like uh, Mr. Wilson is still in there working on the plaster coat inside bedroom two. Oh, sorry, bedroom three. We got lots of plaster coating going. All right, Mr. Jericho here is getting ready to plaster coat the uh, 
master's hallway here. Um, like I said yesterday, we made the decision we're going to end up putting the uh, switch out here to control the lights for the office. Because the, uh, the doors here, there's going to be a, a, a French door, double French door, but then it opens inward. So uh, it'd be easier to turn the light on before you go inside the room. All right, let's go ahead and squeeze through the scaffolding and get to the master suite. I think Miss Emmy already beat me back here. All right, see if we can holler. All right, this is the uh, the wall that Mr. Jericho finished earlier today. Looking good, nice and smooth. Make sure to get some water on that later so it uh, has a finished chance to keep curing. All right, the uh, plumbers are working on the hot fusion welding for the PPR. See if I can catch another instance here with them fusing some pipes. So I'm going to cut the pipe. Okay, pipe's cut. Keep both sides, stick it together. It's like they were made that way. Just take a look around at the uh, supply lines in the master's bath so we got the hot water supply coming down from the solar hot water heater on the other side of the house this is going to be the supply into the shower hot water supply to the tub other hot water supply coming right down behind miss emmy over here and this is for the laboratory for his laboratory hot water coming down on this side for her laboratory and what they're working on right now they're wrapping up for the cold water supply coming from her, her laboratory down to a corner coming down T intersection this is for the for his laboratory cold water supply coming in for the bathtub T's over and up for the shower and then also there is a cold water supply that's going to go underneath the bathtub into the water closet to supply the toilet or in more nicer place nor nicer terms the water closet all right so that's uh, the master's bath area
All right, just to look around uh, just before closing time. The uh, welders have already gone for the day, but they have <coughs> completed up to 30 of these uh, web trusses. As I was looking at these, um, these are just uh, temporary put togethers. Um, what, they're, what I mean by temporary is if you look here, they're using arc welding, <coughs> which is all done by electric and a, and a rod. So what they're doing is only tack welding it. They got a spot weld in each location um, to connect the pieces together. Um, when I was talking to them earlier, what their idea is that once they get it into place and it is finalized, they will come back through and do a, a more permanent weld uh, to seal it into place. But currently, they're just uh, tack welding. So as they're going through, they've already got 30 of these made. They've still got all this um, angle iron over here left. So they'll probably finish up with the angle iron. Oh, I would guess either tomorrow or, well, they ain't going to be able to do it tomorrow. we got a power outage. Um, probably on Wednesday or Thursday while everybody else is doing concrete. <clears throat> yes, I did mention we do have a power outage tomorrow all day eight to five so that means uh no welding and our plumbers will be have uh completed their work for for the site so far until the upstairs um the attic floor slab has been poured and then they'll uh come back and start doing the rest of the some more plumbing um over here mr oliver is still continuing to work on the um window cornering um, <clears throat> been having a, a little bit of trouble with the top piece <laughs> as he uh, throws the mortar up there and gets it put into place um, it keeps falling down on him so he's uh, got to let it dry out a little bit put a little bit more up there dry a little bit put a little bit more up there so he's been struggling with that but the uh, foreman's kind of taking him under his wing and, and uh, really trying to teach him how things are done all right, here we are in uh, bedroom number two. <clears throat> the whole western wall has been completed uh, with plaster coat and got a nice smooth finish on it. So let's go take a look around and see where everybody else is at. <clears throat> All right, coming around to the front. <clears throat> this is the bedroom number three wall exterior. Again, with a uh, semi-smooth finish on the outside. Got all of this done today, as well as the top half of the office wall. So this is the exterior of bedroom three. <clears throat> Come on into the house. Inside of bedroom three, <clears throat> let me go down the hallway here. <clears throat> We've got the top half of this wall finished um, and Mr. Jojo is setting this up for tomorrow. Uh, they're going to continue string line and uh, do the bottom half. So they've got something to work on tomorrow. He's just doing the prep work for it. Okay, let's go take a look over on the master suite. Up, up. Thank you. Tell me, watch my head. <clears throat> they build most of these scaffolding stuff around here. Um, at their height, they're, most of the average guys around here run about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, I'm at 6 foot, so every time I go to <clears throat> walk through the scaffolding, walk by the scaffolding, I'm getting bumped in the head because I'm, I'm thinking I can walk through it same as they do, and I don't. <laughs> I don't make it. I'm a little taller. I end up hitting my head on stuff. Should have seen the uh, one of the first couple weeks, if you go back in the videos, You'll see where I got a nice gash down the, the left side of my forehead. <clears throat> okay, here in the master bath, um, after the plumbers got done roughing in their supply lines, <clears throat> excuse me, throat's dry this afternoon. Um, after the plumbers got done roughing in their supply lines, um, one of the masons came back and covered up with uh, plaster coat the 
holes that they had made in the walls. So they still haven't gotten into here. So they'll start working on this eventually and we'll get to it. Okay, that um, the uh, Burguero, the uh, warehouse man is continuing with the um, watering the cement <clears throat> so that it'll keep curing. This one was done here today and he's uh, already making his rounds, making sure that the concrete has enough water in it to uh, keep getting uh, cured. So as long as it keeps got water on it, it'll cure. All right, so that's pretty much a good wrap around this afternoon of what everybody's been working on. Um, they did finish the uh, roof beams as well above the maid's suite. So the maid's ba bedroom, the maid's bathroom, and the utility room. All right, that's about it. After they do uh, yabba dabba do time, I'll go outside and wrap up. Well, the bell just rang. It's yabba dabba do time. Uh, the guys are starting to wrap up and put their tools away. Um, we're gonna do pretty much about the same thing. I just did a walk around, showed you where everybody's at and what they've been working on today. Um, tomorrow should be interesting. It's gonna be a lot of manual labor. Um, we do have a power outage again uh, from eight to five that, the, that we're expecting, so means lots of work for lots of hard work for for the guys out here um, nothing manual done so I'm oh, sorry nothing automatic uh, nothing electronic um, so that means the uh, concrete that they mix will be by hand the mortar that they mix will be by hand um, means no electricians no plumbers and no welders so uh, it'll be just the uh, the regular construction guys the, um, the laborers um, they'll be out here as they continue wrapping things up. Hey, I did want to mention for Casa Texpina, our video channel today, we hit 100, over 150 view, uh, subscribers. Thank you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure we share. Get some more people out here. Um, I would love for people to be able to learn from whatever mistakes I make, as well as to take any tips from things I do. Um, I know before I started um, coming out here to build uh, this house, I did watch several other um, YouTube channels that were going through uh, construction builds here in the Philippines at about the same time frame, same, uh, same type of construction. Uh, also expats, um, meaning basically foreigners that are, that are here with their Filipino wives or Filipino spouses, if it happened to be the other way around. And uh, as they were going through the construction process, just take tips and pointers, um, please. Take tips and pointers, uh, leave comments below. Uh, I, I'm well open to taking tips and pointers. Well, that's about it for what everybody's been doing here. Like I said, we made 150 subscribers. Thank you very much. Um, if you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button, the Casa Texpina star right over here to the left. Sorry, over here to the right. <clears throat> left for me, right for you. Um, also, if you'd like to be notified when our next video becomes available, hit the bell icon just below the view screen. And while you're below the view screen, leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing, and share. Let your friends see what it is you're enjoying. Until we see you again, probably tomorrow, on Build Day 72. Uh, this is a close for Build Day 71, and have a great afternoon, and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.